Hi, Terry here again. Um, today I'd like to talk about certainty. Certainty, just being sure of things and a certain kind of certainty. I call it a either or, or some people call it a binary or dualistic certainty. See, I lived most of my life in dualistic, let's call it dualistic certainty. I knew what was right, what was wrong. I knew which tradition was right, which tradition was wrong. I knew what perspectives of God were correct and which ones were incorrect. I knew who was with us, who was not with us. I knew that my groups were more correct or correct to the exclusion of other groups. I knew which party I belonged to politically. I just knew all kinds of things and I sorted. I sorted between in or out, right or wrong, righteous, unrighteous, up or down, left or right. You know, I had all these certainties in my life. And it brought me comfort just to know and security to know, to know all of that kind of thing. It's almost like I had two buckets, in or out, right, wrong, and I'd sort. And a lot of it I picked up from my tradition from my family, from my Southwest Michigan upbringing in a Protestant, um, Reformed, Calvinistic perspective. But I had things figured out. And it was important to me. Again, it brought me security. And I found that I was among people that lived the same way. But an interesting shift has taken place over the last 10 or 15 years. And that is, I say I've expanded beyond that certainty. I'm no longer certain of things. I can't sort them anymore. I, try, I don't sort them into right or wrong. I'm, I'm finding that most things have right or wrong built into them. Any tradition, faith system, religion has good points and weak points. Um, either political, any political party has positives and negatives, things that resonate with me and things that don't resonate with me, um, truths that I was absolutely certain of about God, for example. I knew who God was. I had books on systematic theology that define very carefully who, who God is, had creeds, confessions, all of those things. And I've learned in the last 10 or 15 years that I've relaxed from that. And the surprising thing in that is that the opposite or moving beyond certainty is not moving into uncertainty. That was my fear, or that maybe was a real reality in earlier stages of development and earlier life, that I needed certainty that anything else would be uncertainty. What I'm finding now is that moving beyond certainty or relaxing that or just saying, you know, I, I'm not sure. I don't know that definitively. I no longer think that our groups or my traditions has, have everything right. Rather than feeling like uncertainty, it's feeling more like spaciousness. It's feeling like um, mystery making room for paradox and saying rather than this is right and that's wrong, wouldn't it be something if both are right? And I'm not sure how to put that together, but at the same time knowing that paradoxically that's true. So now I say I'm living increasingly trans-certain and trans being on the other side of Certainty. That doesn't mean I've, does that mean I've left certainty behind that I'm no longer certain of anything? No, no, it's expanding beyond the boundaries that certainty kept me within. It just says, you know, I don't have divinity figured out because there's so much mystery, so much bigger. The all, the whole is so much more. I no longer say that my specific branch tradition within the Christian tradition, within Calvinistic and getting all that has it all right and that others, other major world religions have it all wrong. It's more like we have something to add to the conversation, so do others. So much mystery, so much wonder, so much to explore, so much to rest into. 
So I registered to vote a while back after we moved from Michigan to California, and I'm unaffiliated because I know that there's truth and there's error in both sides. People are, those with integrity are doing the best they can. They're just trying to figure it out, and this is what I see, this is what they see. So I'm living with um, a trans certain way of seeing, a trans certain perspective. And what I'm finding is, as I read mystics and sages and elders and, and those of all kinds of different faith traditions or no faith specific faith tradition, are writing of the same things. Oh, I'm still certain that compassion is, is better than cruelty. I'm certain of that. I'm certain that love, compassion, care is, is the best way. And others' way of hatred and, and exclusion. And that, it, it's, it's that, that, I am certain, is not as helpful. But a lot of the other details, I'm feeling more comfortable sitting and saying, here's what my tradition says. Here's what I'm feeling, and maybe I have, <laughs> I've thought about this, maybe I've known a lot more than was knowable. And I'm saying there's more and more in the arena of mystery, of wonder, of unknowing. And many of the mystics talk about the cloud of unknowing or resting into the darkness, resting into the mist, and just sowing, I saying, I don't know. And my suspicion is it takes some decades of life. It takes some, a lot of experience, a lot of letting go, a lot of resting into the heart of doing the contemplative work of just saying, I don't need to know as much as I thought I did. There isn't as much to nail down as I thought there was. And letting go and saying, yeah, I'm living trans certain. I'm living into mystery. I'm living into silence. I'm, I'm living into wonder. And I don't condemn those that still need certainty. I'm saddened that there are 60s, 70s, 80 year olds that still need that certainty that have to be right or wrong, condemn those that see differently. I'm saddened by that, but understand there was a time when I needed as well. So I'm just wondering, where are you in this whole process? Is certainty very important to you? To be sure that you, are, you have the, the ideas correct and others do not? How about this sorting between all one way or all the other? Maybe there is more room in between. It leads to some wonderful conversations. It leads to some wonderful ponder time. Think about it. Talk to you next week.